Hello everyone, I once again welcome you all to my YouTube channel English by Nisa. So in this video we are going to discuss 5 space exploration missions to look out for in 2023. So as you can see on the screen here are 5 of the most important missions of 2023. The first one is Jupiter Icy Moon Explorer. The second is SpaceX Starship. Third one is Dear Moon. Fourth one is Asteroid Explorer Return to Earth. And the last one is India's Private Space Launch. So let's see each one in detail. Let's see the first one, JUICE Mission. The full form of JUICE Mission is nothing but JU stands for Jupiter and ICE stands for Icy Moons. This is the first mission in search of life not on Earth but on Jupiter's Icy Moons. There are so many missions to search life other than Earth because we did not get any signature of life other than Earth. So the researchers, they continue to study because they are looking for the signature of life. So this JUICE mission is nothing but this mission is going to travel around Jupiter and its moons to find the signature of life. Now as you can see, it is a picture of Jupiter. Jupiter has 79 moons, so it is called Mini Planetary System. This JUICE mission is launched by the ESA. ESA means European Space Agency, which is set to launch the Jupiter Icy Moon Explorer in 2022. And it arrived at Jupiter in 2029. It will take almost 7 years. When this JUICE mission arrives on Jupiter, what it will do? Jews will observe Jupiter and its three largest moons. As I told you just now, this Jupiter has 79 icy moons. So this Jews mission will observe Jupiter as well as its three largest moons. Out of the 79, three largest moons which are Ganymede, Callisto and Europa for three years. It will observe for three years only to Jupiter and its icy moons. And it is the largest mission of European countries like Japan and the USA. They both together contributed in this mission. When Galileo pointed his telescope at Jupiter 400 years ago, he discovered four celestial bodies circulating around Jupiter and that were Io, Europa and Ganymede and Callisto, which name as Galilean moon of Jupiter. This JUICE mission will study the Jupiter and its three largest moons, these are Ganymede, Callisto and Europa which is set to explore the possibility of life in space and the origin of Jupiter. The main objective is to find the signature of life other than Earth. Now this 6.210 JUICE spacecraft set off in 2022 on its near 600 million kilometer long journey to Jupiter. It carries 10 scientific instruments which are cameras, spectrometer, radio signs and also instruments including ice penetrating radar to study in depth. Also this mission will study that how solar system formed. So this is all about JUICE mission. It's nothing but it's Jupiter icy moons which, which is the first mission to study Jupiter icy moons in search of life other than Earth. Now let's see the next mission. It is SpaceX Explorer. Now this is Elon Musk's SpaceX Starship which is called Spacecraft. It is the motto of this SpaceX Starship. SpaceX is planning to make colony on Mars. For that they are making three different type of Starship means Spacecraft. In detail this is SpaceX Starship. SpaceX planning to make colony on Mars made three different size Starship which is called Spacecraft. One to carry humans, one for cargo and one for fuel as you can see on the screen. This one to carry humans from Earth to Mars and to carry cargo means the food material and all and this is the third one which is which will use to carry fuel. So this starship has total 34 high engine that are capable enough to directly land on Mars once they live from Earth. And its fuel will be methane which is easily available on both the planet Earth as well as on Mars. But the distance between Earth and Mars is 401 million kilometer. So it will cover approximately 6 months to reach on Mars. Let's see its process, how they will send and which starship they'll send first. So first they'll send the first starship which carry humans along with the super heavy rocket. 
that will be sets in earth's orbit then that rocket will come back then the starship alone travel towards mars to travel alone in the earth's orbit it needs fuel right so the fuel will be methane which is easily available on both the planet just now i told you like earth and mars methane is easily available as soon as the first starship sent the second ship which carry fuel it will travel around the orbit and refill that first starship then the first starship will move on its final journey now let's see the interior of this starship now this first starship which carry humans it has five star viewing gallery so that people don't feel bored but the long six month journey from earth to mars and it will also have kitchen community hall where people can sit together or they can talk or eat and also 40 rooms take rest which hold 100 people means each room has three beds see the third feature of this starship this starship has three not one stainless steel which is used to make this starship which can resist 1300 to 1500 degree celsius heat and it's cheaper than the carbon fiber so it this starship can resist the heat and is also a cheaper than carbon fiber and it has two fuel tanks one for landing and one for launching this starship will be three the first one will carry human beings the second one will carry fuel and refill to the first starship the third cargo ship take ration to the people with a super heavy rocket and that super heavy rocket again will come back to earth and this starship will give ration to the first starship so i hope you have understood this is space x starship it is a mission of this elon musk so recently on 17 november last friday elon musk has did the second test for this starship but it was a fail they destroyed this starship in space so if this mission is successful then this starship will be the largest spacecraft which capable of carrying humans from earth to the mars This is Starship is a collective name for two component Starship is which is a spacecraft which carries the crew and cargo and the second one is super heavy rocket which only help this starship to set in the earth's orbit and after that this rocket will come back on earth and this starship alone travel towards mars So this is very simple you can get in four mark this question space x starship is nothing but it is a space x planning to make colony on mars where this mission is planning to take people from earth to mars next mission which is dio moon now this dio moon project which is started by japanese millionaire his name is yusaku mizawa as you can see in the picture he is the yusaku mizawa he is a japanese person So this Yusaku Misawa he is a 46 years old man and he is a founder of Japanese retail fashion brand Zuzu. This Yusaku Misawa he got 3 lakh application from all over the world to travel on moon free of cost. He chooses 8 person from those 3 lakh applications who will send to moon by Elon Musk space ship next to you. As he did not get approval till now. So along with Yusaku Misawa a tourist will send to moon orbit through starship will determine the success of his space tourism development Yusaku Misawa he said one of his uh, tweet that i hope everyone recognizes the responsibility that is required to leave earth and travel to moon and back means he addressed to the people those who are traveling along with Yusaku Misawa he asked them to recognize their responsibility The moon is very simple. Only these Yusaku Misawa, he is projected along with Elon Musk. They wanted to take eight people from Earth to Moon, which will determine the success of space tourism development. So this Dio Moon project is started by Japanese millionaire or billionaire Yusaku Misawa. A tourist will send to Moon by Elon Musk's spaceship. This project did not get approval yet. and the success or failure of this dio moon mission could affect whether deep space tourism becomes the next big thing or it is relegated back to being a pipe dream now let's see the next mission that is asteroid explorer returns to earth what is this mission asteroid explorer returns to earth this is nasa's osiris rex which is carrying a largest asteroid sample lands on earth 
which giving opportunity for scientists to learn more about the origin of the solar system. You would get this in one mark. What is Osiris Res mission? The full form is Origins Spectral Interpretation Resources Identification Security Regulate Explorer. So you should buy hard this full form of this Osiris Res mission. Now let's see its feature. This is NASA's first mission to get a sample from the ancient Bennu. You can see in the picture this is ancient Bennu which is an asteroid. So before seeing about the Bennu, let's see what are asteroids. So asteroids are nothing but these are the rocky objects which orbit around the sun and these are much smaller than the planet and also called minor planet. According to NASA, they have counted 10 lakh asteroids till now. And these asteroids are of three types. The first class is which found in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter which is estimated to contain uh, somewhere between 1.1 to 1.9 million asteroids between Jupiter and Mars. And the second group is that uh, Trojan groups which found near Jupiter, Neptune and Mars and 11 NASA reports that they found Trojans, these asteroids around the Earth. And the third asteroid, which is a hazardous asteroid, this is called Near Earth Asteroid, NEA. And these are more than 10,000 asteroids. One of this, this Bennu, which is traveling around the Earth. Now let's see in detail. This is the NASA's first mission, which is set to get a sample from the ancient Bennu, as you can see in the picture. Now this asteroid Bennu is taller than the Empire State Building and 5-10 meter wide. And it could release 12,000 megatons of energy if it hit Earth. That is 24 times more powerful than the most powerful nuclear weapon ever built. Then located at the distance of about 1200 million miles away from the Earth. So scientists wanted to get the information about the formation of history of planets and the suns and all the solar systems and all. So that's why they are studying asteroid Bennu because these asteroids were also formed at the same time as other objects in the solar system. So this Bennu has not undergone drastic changes since the formation over a billion of years ago. And therefore it contains chemicals and rocky dating back to birth of the solar system. This is a NASA's first mission meant to return a sample from the ancient asteroid Bennu. This mission is essentially a 7 year long voyage. This mission said to get a sample of 60 gram of this ancient Bennu but it got 250 grams. So this robotic mission along with a sample of Bennu has landed in the desert of Utah in the United States of America on 24th November 2023. This sample will help the scientists to get the detailed information about the history of the solar system. Finally, this Bennu is a hazardous object with a small possibility of Earth impact in the next century. So this Osiris Rex mission is nothing but it is a NASA's first mission to get a sample from the ancient Bennu. The detailed information about the history and solar system. Let's see the next mission that is Vikram S rocket. This is India's first private seven story building rocket by Skyroot Aerospace. This is Skyroot India's first private rocket Vikram S is planned to launch in November 12 to 16 by name Praram which means beginning. This Vikram S rocket is a single stage suborbital launch vehicle which carrying three commercial payloads. Now Hyderabad based Skyroot Aerospace Company which manufacture space launch vehicle to launch satellites into space. This is Skyroot India's first private rocket Vikram S is planned to launch in November by the name Praram which means beginning. As we all know that India's space research activities began during the 1960s by Vikram Sarabhai. He is considered the father of the Indian space program. Vikram Sarabhai started the journey of the Indian space program by bringing together capable and excellent scientists, anthropologists, thinkers and also social scientists of the country. So this Vikram S rocket is nothing but it is the first private rocket of India which named after the famous Indian scientist and founder of ISRO who is Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. So this is all about 5 space exploration mission to look out for in 2023. I hope it would be helpful for you. Stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.